Hi everyone, it's Christina and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to flip through the pages of this journal. This is January and February of this year, 2023. I was going I was hoping it was going to take me through till March, but it's getting pretty chunky. Uh, so let's go through the pages. I don't know if I showed the front cover, but there's the front. Just um, sewed some fabric together, a journal card here. I do I always like to cut out um, like little words or sayings and glue them on the pages. And then that's the back. Oh, and I even uh, made this little charm. This is what you call, oh, what's that called? Like a bulb, a safety pin, but it's a bulb pin. All right, so there's the inside cover. And I just put one of these little plastic pockets in there. Glued down, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is um, Four Sigmatic, and it's, it's different types of coffee. So, I don't know, just stuck that there. On this little die cut of a jar, supplies needed, and um, I'm 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 going through my list. I'm doing pretty good. And this I have it tucked in here, and this um, I'll explain later when we get to towards the end of my book. So here I just uh, got my January tap there. I've got a picture here of a herb salt that I made. I wish I can remember where I got the recipe from, but at least I got the ingredients here and it is so good. So you have to, if you like making your own, uh, like, you know, herb salts or your own spices, this is a really, really good recipe. Although the original had, I think like a quarter cup of salt maybe and that was a bit too much for me so I just use an eighth an eighth of a cup and here's a little pocket here you know I used to always print up a little calendars and I st I'm starting to use calendars less and less so I'm not sure if my next journal is gonna have a calendar in it and this time round I used a lot of like these, these are Prima paints and pastels. I've got these pastels and Crayola pastels. I even have, I even used uh, Prisma uh, colored pencils. So I try to use a lot of that this time around in, on my pages. So that's what I did here in the background. And then, you know, when you take a toothbrush and you dip it in watered down white paint and you kind of speckle it everywhere. I always love that look. And this is a pretty page from a magazine. Look at this cute little pocket here. I just love it. And then here I've got my tag, my journal card. And I always love to sew sew on my tags and add little pieces of material and this big tag here this is from this pad here it was prima i have i have had this for so many years and i've only used maybe half of it it was a really thick pad so love it because the tags are so huge and here i've got a little a journal card or like a little postcard tucked in behind there. Pretty paper tape to do list. I saw this idea, I think, on Pinterest, and you just put down strips of washi tape and then you write, you know, things that you've done or things that you want to do. So, kind of, that's what I did. I didn't get them all done, but um, I like it. It's pretty. Couldn't forget to get Indy on a page, right? So right here, uh, um, my chair, you know, a, a, an office chair, you know how it's got the arms on it? Well, the arms are really, really skinny. And, and any cat, and I mean, a cat can sit on something, you know, like half an inch wide, right? <laughs> so she's sitting on the arm and just kind of hanging out with me. And I had my camera right there and I was able to snap a picture of her. So cool. And on this page, I mean, who would have thought where, I don't know where I've been living under a rock, 
but I just found out, my girlfriend told me about making hemp milk because I love making smoothies. Smoothies is usually my breakfast or my lunch. <laughs> and um, I usually use, the only milk I'll use in a smoothie is coconut milk. But I wanted to try something different. She says, well, why don't you try um, hemp milk? And I went, hemp milk, how do you do that? And it's so super easy. In my super duper blender, I put filtered water, hemp hearts, dates, uh, some maple syrup, vanilla extract, and I whip that up and I put it in this jar and it is delicious. So if you haven't tried hemp milk, give it a go. And here in January, we got a ton of snow and then it was this gorgeous, beautiful, sunny day, so much blue sky and I had to go out in the street and take some pictures. And here is a paper bag and I just put some, tuck some pictures in here. And on the other side, this is a envelope and my tag for journaling and some journal cards. Look at this pattern paper, isn't that cool? I love owls. This I cut out from some pattern paper, memories. I can't remember where this quote came from, but thought it went, went well with the house. There's a little glassine envelope and a journal card in there. And I have so many of these little um, paper bags. So I just did some sewing on them and wrote down, I love open-minded people. People who just vibe with whatever you talk about. And you can talk about anything and everything with them and they are not judgmental. So I guess we're into February. And here I took out my, I think my pastels and drew this, I don't know, brick background. It's a picture of this girl sitting there the most thing is to have fun and be proud of what you create. It doesn't matter what other people think. And you know what? I got a lot of recipes in this journal. <laughs> I did a lot of, I did, um, I don't know, I found, you know, sometimes, especially during the winter months, don't know what to journal about. Well, I picked recipes. And I made this lemon rice soup, super delicious. And here, this is just sort of a collage of different things that were on my craft table. Got this from a magazine. Friends are the sunshine of life. And then here on this tag, even if it's the cat or dog or your own company. Because <laughs> cats and dogs make great friends, don't they? And you know what? See this tag here? This is from, you know when you buy, I don't know, a pair of jeans or something and it comes, there's tags attached to it. I always keep those because they make good little journaling cards. And this particular pattern paper, or no, actually this was from, you know that magazine and it's called Daphne's Diary? Well, I used some of the pages in this journal and it's just got sections here. So I thought, you know, you can just jot stuff down. So that's what I did. Oh yes, and here, see these pictures? Well, this is a mug I bought on Amazon. And I got the mug here. So there's the mug. It's got this wonderful lid and it's got a strainer because I love making tea and I have a ton of loose, loose leaf tea. Only thing with this, it doesn't keep your beverage hot for very long. Not like, you know, if you have a Yeti mug, that yet those Yeti mugs keep everything hot for like overnight. Here comes little Indy. I wonder if she'll come right under the camera. Like she's walking on my craft table, sniffing everything out. Hey, little girl, you can come visit. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, so anyhow, I just thought I would journal, take some pictures of my mug, journal about it. Here's a friend's page. Friends are such a blessing. On this page, again, I brought out some paint, colored paint, and some, I think, maybe some pastels or maybe my crayons. Drew this girl, added this phrase, you are more capable than you know. Here's another page bringing out some of my colors and using phrase words and my sewing machine. 
stitching. Oh, this is fun. Don't tell hubby. <laughs> All right. I love, love one of my favorite desserts is, or favorite baking is date squares. My husband does not like dates at all. One day I'm flipping through my recipe book or my recipes, or maybe it was online, and I found a blueberry square recipe that's very similar to date squares. So here is the filling. You just take blueberries and organic cane sugar or whatever sugar you want, some orange juice, and you boil that, and then you add some cornstarch, let it cool, put it in the fridge, and then it thickens up, right? Well, what I do, shh, this is the secret part. I make my regular date square recipe. Um, you know how you have to boil the dates with a little bit of water or orange juice, a little bit of uh, like vanilla extract, and I like to put some orange juice in there, and then you boil it and you mush it up and you get your dates all mushy, and then that's your date, that's my date um, layer. Well, I kind of half that recipe and I put a layer of dates down and then I do this blueberry filling on top. So my husband thinks he's just eating blueberry squares, but really they're blueberry date squares and he has no clue that, that there's dates in there. So yay for Christina. And they're super delicious. <laughs> and in here, I don't know, you know, again, just jot stuff down. I wrote, what makes life easier? One, snowblower. Two, post-it notes. Three, plan supper menu. And four, a well-stocked deep freeze. And on this note paper, must be a recipe in here. Oh yes, divine fettuccine. If you love fettuccine, this is such a good recipe. It's just spinach, butter, light cream, low-fat milk, two egg yolks, salt, pepper, grated Parmesan cheese. And then you sit down and you eat and you light the candles. You pour the wine, say grace, take a bite, give thanks. It's so good. Again, brought out my pastels yeah it feels feels like my pastels and here the words are be inspired listen carefully and smile the only thing i do not like is this flower here i kept you know adding more color or you know bringing the orange out and you know i do not like that flower so i think what i'm going to do is well i've tried all of these colors and i don't like any of them i thought i would just glue this on right glue Maybe that, but no, and you know, this one, no. I don't know, I've gone through the whole pack of flowers and I don't really like any of them except maybe this color here. See the purple on the bottoms of her hair? So I thought maybe that's what I would put here. Maybe this little pink flower in the middle and then say we're done, but I don't know, it's kind of dark. I don't know, <laughs> but I know I don't like that. So we'll see. <laughs> and this page, in other journals, I know I've shown you many times, I cut this out, make five sections, do stitching all around it, and then I glue it onto a page, and then I do my decorating, whatever I'm gonna do. This time round, I decided to just on the page itself, I added sort of a neon green color. I painted an orange color, a brown color, red, red, orange, and whatever down here. And then I just added things like this phrase here, uh, joys are our wings. And I found a little picture from a magazine. I found these butterfly wings, uh, trim thread from the sewing machine. I added this piece here and just uses, used my gel pen. Uh, did some stamping, washi tape. This saying I found in a magazine. And oh my, hello there. <laughs> and called it finished. Here's another recipe, tortier. My mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law. She was French Canadian and she made wonderful 
Oh, she made wonderful tortier. Um, she has passed away. I never got the recipe from her. Okay, hold on, everyone. I'm being interrupted here. A little Indy. Oh, my. Indy girl. Do you want to come say hello? She wants me to pick her up. But she's too close to the camera. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <sighs> So there's another page. Oh, and then I found this, I read this in a book. Putting a couple, putting a couple easy things on your to-do list just so you can enjoy crossing them off. <laughs> so that's what I did. Got this journal card here, made up a to-do list and got them all done except one. And I don't know, I found this picture in a book, attached it with some washi tape currently waiting for spring because boy have we got a lot of snow this year so i'm waiting for spring ar to arrive see look at all that snow like major snow and then this page here very vintagey i found this uh picture on, I don't know, Pinterest maybe. And I printed it out because I want hubby to make me something similar like this. I just love it and then I can plant all my herbs because I grow a lot of herbs in the summertime. And this is this is pretty, but I didn't do anything really here. I didn't journal or nothing. Oh, and here's another recipe. This is sheet pan lasagna. So if you go to this website, and she's this little tiny Italian girl, uh, giazzi.com, and sh search for sheet pan lasagna, it's super good. Because, I don't know, if you've ever made lasagna, it's like a major, it's like a lot of work, right? It takes hours and hours. All your layering and your boiling of your lasagna pasta, and you have to make up your meat, and then da 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 <laughs> It's good, but it's a lot of work. This is a lot easier and it's very good. So if you like lasagna, give this a go. Okay, this page. Let's go back here. You know when you don't, you don't know what to do on a page? You just don't have any ideas? Well, this will come in handy. So this is from everything-art.com and it's a website where a lot of the um, like there's many art courses, but you have to pay for them. But there's some things that are for free. And this is called, this exercise is called Pick and Mix Art Journaling Exercise. So what it, what you do is you cut these little sayings out and then you put them in a, in a bowl and then pick one out and do what it says. But instead I just numbered them instead of cutting them out. And so these are the numbers that I did. Uh, so... What is your favorite color today? Grab it, paint, crayon, pencil, and paint, and draw a shape with it. So, I don't know, it's somewhere in here. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Glue a piece of random page from a newspaper. Circle the words that you like. So, I did that here. Draw carelessly with your pencil. Apply a thin layer of gesso. Let it dry. Draw yourself in 30 seconds. So I did all that, and there's your journal page. So here I must have glued something down from a magazine. I th uh, today I am so, oh, I think somewhere you have to, oh, there, there's where I drew myself in 30 seconds. I think I had my hair up in a bun. Um, I think you have to write what you're grateful for. I wrote today, I am so grateful that I can stay home and do messy art. And I think there was like grab a pencil or a pen and randomly draw something. Draw with your non-dominant hand. Oh no, write your name with your non-dominant hand. So I wrote my name here. So anyways, that's fun. And the work is done for you. you do, I mean, you have to do the work, but to come up with ideas, it's already done for you. Oh yeah, you know what? I've got a whole bunch of things in my Amazon cart, a lot of uh, craft supplies. So I think when those come in the mail, I'm going to do a craft haul. I haven't done one of those like in years.
And here is a envelope and I've got a tag in there and I just decorated the front and put a quote down here. It's another recipe I did. It's a new one. Uh, chocolate, chocolate spelt cookies. Uh, actually, it should be chocolate chip uh, spelt cookies. But instead of using chocolate chip, I use cocoa nibs. Um, super good. Um, and I wanted to make that because I have a lot of spelt flour and I want to use up my spelt flour. And here's just another page. Um, this was that day. It was beautiful, fresh snow. It was super sunny. It was really pretty when I took, when I look out the window. So just took a picture of my dining room. And then I made this little journal tab here with a little safety pin and some beads. And here it says, blessed. More artsy stuff brought out my, I think these are my pastels, and I drew this girl, and it says, go easy on yourself. Whatever you do today, let it be enough. This is a vellum corner pocket, and a little journaling here on John 16, verse 22. Don't let anyone take your joy. More snow pictures. And trust your gut. If my body created it, my body can heal it. We're almost at the end here. These, this is what's on my reading list right now. And some collage work, journaling, tag, and Brave Warrior page. And the end, have a sweet spring. So I was hoping this would take me into March, but it's not because it's so chunky. So I am just in the beginning stages of making a new journal. So I'll show you that. So this journal, I've done something new I haven't done before. I've made an extra wide, so this is probably one inch spine. And I made th three signatures. So I'll quickly go through each signature. I use lots of pretty pattern paper. I went through all my 12 by 12 papers and just brought out ones that I really liked. Made this as a pocket, some coffee stain paper, and some papers are that I printed up, a digital printable. This is watercolor paper. And this is the second one. And I made, uh, I put two watercolor pa pages together so I can have a nice big spread here of something. <laughs> this is donut paper. Oh, look at that. I just love that. It's so bright. And then the third one. There's some vellum, dictionary or encyclopedia paper. And I just purchased this on Etsy. It is ledger paper. Look how beautiful it is. I think it was around four, four dollars maybe, and you get about six pages. So beautiful, love it. So I need to decorate, put some pattern paper down on the front. So I think I'm gonna use this one and then a piece for the back. And maybe I might put that on the center. Uh, I'm not sure yet, um, but I need to get cracking because it's already the middle of March. And yeah, I got lots of catching up to do. So anyways, that's it. That's, that's my share for today. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye everybody. Mm -hmm.